30 years I've been working, no one's ever attacked me like this before. And he said, why are you wearing that? You know, really in my face, why are you wearing that? Take it off. And then the next thing I realized is grab a bolt of my scarf from here and just try to remove it. And he just walked off as though he'd done nothing. I turned around and said to him, what the hell have you just done? And, um, sorry, uh, he sort of menacingly said to me, what, what are you going to do about it? But there were people around. I, I know there was people in front, there was people behind me, people on the side of me, but they all went by as though nothing happened. Nobody helped me, so that's what I find really hard. In the beginning I was, you know, wanting to keep myself to myself, quite tearful. Every, if, every time I had to repeat it, I'd start crying. It'd keep coming in my mind, I'd close my eyes to sleep and it'd come in my mind. You know, it was quite scary. I was scared. I went to a local mosque where I spoke about my incident and a lot of women then did put their hands up and said, yeah, actually, I've faced it, but I never reported it because I just thought it happens, but it shouldn't happen and we should report it and it's not a little thing. I think there's too much in the media that uh, terrorists, fanatics, they wear hijab, they wear the niqab, they have beards, they have a rucksack. This is all portrayed as how to spot a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist, none of my family are terrorists. I don't know any terrorists. I'm going to carry on my life and I'm going to wear my hijab and I'm going to wear it if they like it or not, I don't care. It's, it's my identity. What does it, you know, it's not affecting anybody as in what I wear, whether I wear less, more or nothing. Why should it hurt anybody else?